So I worked a little bit more on this uh, power supply. I'm going to uh, modify it. So what I've done so far is to split the uh, power supply up into plus and minus voltages. And I've recently just installed a positive regulator. I didn't have a negative regulator, but I, I, in my junk bin I had a positive regulator and a TO3 can. So this is an LM350. Uh, I think it's good for 3 amps. So this is what the schematic looks like now. Uh, I put in a bridge rectifier and that generates plus and minus 13 volts. Uh, I'm putting the three terminal regulator on the plus side. And I originally thought that I could get 11 volts out of it, but I can't and I'll show you why. So here I have uh, hooked up a bunch of stuff to test a power supply. Um, I have a DC load. Uh, which which does monitor voltage, but at the load, not at the actual power supply. So I have a, a DVM that's connected to the power supply itself in case there's any voltage drop in the in the wires between the two. I do have 14 gauge wires running between the two, so there shouldn't be a, a big drop. And then in the background there, it's hard to see, but I have a, a oscilloscope that's going to monitor the plus 13. Um, so let's dial up the current until we get to 1 amp. And at 1 amp everything looks great. Uh, here's a close-up of the oscilloscope, a screen capture actually. And um, it's measuring 13 volts perfectly. So let's ramp up to 2 amps. And now we're starting to see a little bit of ripple, but you know, not too bad. Uh, certainly, you know, Ripples might be between 13 and 12, something like that. We'll ramp up to 3 amps. Now we're starting to see some serious ripple. And now we're dipping down uh, close to, to 10 volts. So the way you design power supplies is to make sure you have enough capacitance to minimize the ripple. And then you determine what the minimum voltage in the ripple is, and then you need to give yourself some headroom on the three terminal regulator called voltage drop. So you need to you need to figure out what that voltage drop is in worst case. For three terminal regulators, it's generally around two volts. So if you if your input is dipping down to about 10 volts and two volts of headroom, that Really, this power supply can really only do 8 volts. So, um, it's probably why it was chosen. When you're building real um, instruments that go across the world, they end up in places like Japan, which has 100 volts, which lowers the voltage. And then it also has 50 hertz, which lowers the voltage because your uh, ripple will increase with 50, 50, uh, 50 hertz. Well, let's take it up to 4 amps. Let's go all the way to 4 amps. And at 4 amps, things are just getting worse. So I think I'm going to redesign the power supply one more time. I'm going to use the bridge rectifier, but I'm not going to create a dual um, output. I'm going to create a single output. So I'll have a 0 to 26 volts originally. And then after the droops and everything, I'll get about 0 to 20 volts. And 0 to 20 volts will be a good range. 